Hello everyone, my name is KB and today I would like to talk about how to choose an engineering field. I say this because I have been in the engineering field for about almost 15 years now and during the course of that time I was able to attain two different engineering degrees and I found that when talking to aspiring engineers, choosing an engineering field can be a very frustrating process. The main reason this is the case because when someone mentions engineering, many times they're not thinking about the many different types of engineering fields that are actually under the engineering umbrella. You have some engineering fields that cover very specific areas, such as nuclear engineering, environmental engineering, aerospace engineering, and you have the engineering fields that cover very broad areas such as civil engineering, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, and chemical engineering. And these different types of engineering fields can often lead to frustration for young aspiring engineers because when it comes time for in my case high school or in many other cases college you have to decide on a major and that major has laid the foundation for your future engineering degree so choosing an engineering degree that you feel you will enjoy and grow as a professional is a really big decision and you want to have the most information available to make that decision. The first thing when looking at engineering fields is to realize that some engineering fields are better suited for research than industry. Now, all engineering fields can be used for research and all engineering fields can be used for industry. Where I'm coming from is that some engineering fields are very specific, which means there are usually lots of research in that field, but the industry aspect of that engineering degree is very limited because it's very specific. So you can only work in one particular aspect of the engineering field, whereas some engineering fields are very broad. They all, they're not really a specific degree. And therefore, when you look at research for that degree, it covers many different types of areas. And those are actually better for industry because it allows you to move around in case you get one job and you don't like it and you want to go into a different aspect of that job or that field and do something else. For example, in terms of research, an example would be nuclear engineering. Nuclear engineering is a very specific field because obviously you were, you're working with nuclear technology. There are very few places that works with nuclear technology, whereas if you get into the field and you start working at it and you decide, well, I don't like this anymore, it's hard to transfer over to a different engineering field because your background expertise on nuclear engineering, whereas research, there's plenty of research being done in nuclear engineering, and that's fine if that's something you want to, want to do, but you should be aware of that when choosing some of the more specific engineering fields, that, like environmental engineering, nuclear engineering, or aerospace engineering, whereas if you choose a broad engineering degree, it might not necessarily be good for research because in research, you have to choose something very specific. But in industry, it's actually a good idea because when it comes to the raw engineering fields, for example, chemical engineering, you get into it and let's say you're working for an oil manufacturer, refin refinancing plant, you're like, mm, I kind of don't like this. I want to work for in the bioengineering engineering field. Well, chemical engineering allows you to do that. You're not stuck in that specific engineering field for your career. You can go do something else because it's a broad engineering field. Now, there are pluses and minuses to both, as I previously explained. But one thing you need to realize is that when it comes 
to choosing a broad engineering field, there are, or as I like to say, four different types of broad engineering fields. There's the mechanical engineering, there's civil engineering, there's electrical engineering, and there's chemical engineering. In most cases, the other engineering fields, depending on where you go and the, the part of the, the country you're in, you'll be exposed to the more specific engineering fields as you particulate through either of these core engineering fields. But like I said, the downside of these type of engineering fields is that they're very broad, so you really don't get anything specific. But if you're more interested in industry, these are usually the type of engineering degrees that I would recommend because when you get out and work in industry, you can see, okay, it's easier for you to move around instead of being stuck in that particular engineering field. Now, how do you decide on what engineering field to go into? Well, the first thing you need to, you, to think about is what do you enjoy doing? You have to enjoy the work that you're doing. Otherwise, you're not going to make it through any type of engineering major, whether it be a master's, a bachelor's, or a PhD. So you have to decide what type of engineering you enjoy doing. The second thing is that you have to decide what do you see yourself doing in engineering, whether it be research, whether it will be working in industry. You have to decide what do you want to do. And you don't have to decide right now, but you should research what you see yourself doing. So if you see yourself doing research, look up, look up different types of research opportunities in that engineering field and see if you enjoy doing those types of research projects. Or if you see yourself going in the industry, look up different types of jobs that people who obtain a similar degree are doing so that you have a better understanding of when you get out, what type of work you will be doing. Because many times people go through these majors they graduate and they decide to go into research and they decide to go into industry and then they realize or they see that the work doesn't match up to what they've done during their educational career. So just remember to figure out what you ultimately enjoy doing. If you don't know that right now, then look up the research opportunities, what the work or jobs they will be doing, and then make a decision as to what the what type of engineering degree that you want to do and never be afraid to change because many I've known many people who have gone into industry decided they didn't want to do it then go back and do research and I've known many people who have done research and then they've gone back and went into industry so in conclusion there are many different types of engineering degrees engineering comes with a vast area. Some engineering degrees are better suited for research, the industry, and vice versa. And there are core engineering fields that you should be made aware of that encompasses many different types of engineering degrees. And it's my recommendation that if you're interested in industry, that you at least look into the core different types of engineering fields. And hopefully, by doing the research and looking into the engineering fields, you would be able to determine which engineering field is for you. Thank you very much, everybody, and I will see you next time.